We are live at Skin and D. Johnson Stadium in International Speedway in Baron Grizzlejock, Georgia. The Ork George cheering section is already in the spirit of things I can see. They've already dismembered the opposing team's mascot. <laughs> Nicely done, great fans. Did you know that being an NFL mascot is the leading cause of death for overqualified college graduates? And today's matchup is going to be a good one. The teams are taking the field. That Nashville like it battle. Yorks of Hazard. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Are you ready for some MFL action? I love MILFs! Newton's I'd like to fuck! He said MFL, not M-I-L-F, you half-wit. Ow! Oh, I thought you were talking about the Mayhem Bowl halftime milk lingerie girls team! What a zombie QB with that big rack of ribs and almost no waist at all! Oh, oh, va 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 boom Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy! Second down and seven. And he'll pick up the first down with a nice piece of running there. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, and, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? First and ten. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. He is running like an old guy looking for a bathroom. First down. First and ten. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. Second down in a very lot. a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Oh, uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. When defensive players go berserk, they realize at quarterback you have to take risks and just chuck the ball sometimes. But it doesn't always pay off, does it? Yeah. yeah. And like bricks and fouls, he is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. He's at the 10. He intercepted the QB's pass and returns it for a touchdown. That's not just salt in the moon. That's peeing in the ashes of the smoldering remains. Ah, you are truly a master poet, Grim. And here comes the extra point attempt. Oh, 
straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Oh, I can't believe it ain't the whole thing. Drop, drop, fizz, fizz. Someone give that guy some Valka Schmelzer. If you think his dancing is bad, you should have been here in the old days. They used to mark their territory the old-fashioned way. But they agreed to dial it down to uh, interpretive dance. I took an interpretive dance class with a werewolf punch. A burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They just... It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They need a good return here to set up the offense. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Brick, it means he can get return for me. You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. He was stuck in the a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Second down and seven. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well. And it's first and ten. Oh, welcome to Fumbletown, USA. Population, this guy. Well, he should be more careful when he hurdles. Oh, what a punishing hit that was. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. And it's first and ten. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means he can wrap up the other half. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could go. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. short of the goal line. Hell of a run, though. Uh, I like this damn it happens to a lot of guys, Grim. Uh, at least that's what I hear. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he, he just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Caught for the first down. Holy Montezuma's revenge! That's a crack your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful. Wasn't he? Briggs wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Well, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever.
Ugh, to crack the pants. Huh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but you know, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Second down and six. Jailbreak and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Oh, crowd's loving it. And it's first and ten. Second down in a lot. He caught it, and nothing was going to stop him from getting into the end zone. Except maybe self doubt, but he seems to have worked through it. Should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Second down and four. Looks like the defense called the jump. Oh, great tackle. When it oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my dead mutant bingo card. I only need one more. First and ten. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Second down and ten. a decent punt. They let the punt drop and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. Oh, that's a vicious hit. And the crowd loves it. He just turned that guy into 300 pounds of ground mutant meat. And you can't hit a guy much 
harder than that. And it's anyone's game still at this point. I know, which makes it so hard to place a bat. And that'll be second and eight to go. And it plays on defense, schmuck. Ballsy? Stupid, maybe? I guess we'll decide after we see how this goes. He's got his beast boost working. The player just transformed into a violent form of pure badass. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. You can and it's first and ten. Well, it looks like the coach is ripping that play from the playbook. What a oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. And the offense is running low on running backs. They have only two left. They need to conserve those runners now and consider passing more. Second down and ten. And the defense goes for the jugular and rushes to kill the quarterback. And look at the QB run for his life. He's so fast. Nah, he just found out about that cheerleader's pregnancy test. I'd run too. She's huge. Second down, the size of Brick's wiener. Hey! Sorry, partner. <laughs> Nicely done for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. <laughs> the defense better look out. The offense called the beast boot dirty trick. Mistakes here, just kick the ball through the upright for God's sake. It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. When you get knocked down, you gotta get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. nothing but not by much the offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit yeah but on the bright side win they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore uh, i don't think the funeral expenses that is second down and nine player who goes down fighting oh you knew you were gonna see a lot of carnage today folks these teams have bad blood between them apparently they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck raccoon rabies blood is my thought always a player's favorite and it's first and ten Oh, what a 
great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? No, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. Third down and three. That was a good throw. And assuming he was aiming for the ground. And get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. He's got the distance, and the kick is good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Said another hit a man when he's down is just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> the burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. He broke free and has open field in front of him. He's in the quarterback, drills one in for the first down. Bingo! Bingo! I just hit that mutant bingo! And all I was missing was his number for the last three plays. Talk about luck! The offense is down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. And it's first and ten. Oh, man, he really won. And that's a run for no gain. Second down and ten. Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. They're gaining on him. Hey, come on, move your ass. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger, because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message, because the messenger killed him. Ah, I'm going in circles. <laughs> The offense lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. They're going for two points. Here comes the kicker. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. What's the kicker, Grim? Uh, this guy in the field. Oh, I thought you were going to tell me a story like, here's the kicker. When I turned out the light, it wasn't a broad in my bed. It was a chip wearing a wig. Oh, uh, come on. That was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Destruction in his path. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. Catch the ball, get the first down, and don't die. See, it's really a simple.
simple game when it comes down to it. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough day. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. <laughs> and it's first and ten. gain on that pass play. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Second down and five. down and the punter is warming up. That's a gain of seven yards on the catch. Nicely done. Smart move there as they call a timeout trying to get the ball back for another shot. And out comes the most underrated position in football. The mighty punter. And he booted a high Rainbow. The return man catches the ball and heads upfield. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Ah, another interception. He should give this guy a bigger Oh, with the brutal hit. When in a hurry up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. The second quarter comes to a close as the teams head for the locker room and we take you to halftime. Brought to you by Monsatan Industries. We make genetically engineered food that is to die for. It's the start of the third quarter, and we are set to go, Bricks. Oh, boy! Where we going, Grim? A carnival? Huh? Uh, we're going to go to a strip tea show? Where we going? Hey, why don't you settle down? Just pet your rabbit, Lenny. Just pet your rabbit. <laughs> <laughs> the home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! <laughs> And it's first and ten. Bam! 
say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. Holy crap, he runs straight into a mutant trap and dies. Reminds me of my breakfast cereal, the old nut crunch. He's at the 40. The 30. The 20. The 10. This defender is not going to be stopped. Once he picked up that loose ball, he was going to score or die trying. Luckily for him, he scores! I like this. They're going for two. Point attempt. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. They're going to be able to return this one. Now the offense is getting kills. This is really a violent game, guys. The burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. Excuses for this QB. You just you just throw it to the guy in the same color. He could go all the way. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. And it's first and ten. Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And it's first and ten. Whenever a player gets big like this, it reminds me. And another interception. This, oh, what a run there. Touchdown. No one was going to stop him. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. And it's first to ten. The defender says, I don't think so. Second down and ten. And he was stuck to him like glue. Third down and ten. And the defense jumps up sides trying to... You know, in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, yes. they have plays just for killing them. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Yes. And it's first and ten. Oh, and they just deflated the quarterback balls right there. Second down in a very lot. Oh, holy monster. 
Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Briggs? Wonder what made him so mad. That was probably all the diarrhea. Oh, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed everyone who came to Mexico forever to crack their pants. Uh, sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but uh, not the guests. What the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? The offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. And it's first and ten. Remember, folks, in the NFL, you are allowed to touch the quarterback, just like that. Second down and more than the QB would like. And there's another pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing. Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm going to go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, it didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. point with multiple interceptions the QB should just throw in the towel oh with a punishing hit oh holy smokes he just killed that player with a cheap shot that's why we love the MFL <laughs> lots of blood and guts spilled in this game the Orcs of Hazard pulverize the opposition and win by forfeit that was one hell of a slugfest. That was worth the price of admission, right, guys? Well, I paid for admission. I expect girls to dance on a pole or something. Girls, man, I want a lap dance. You don't even have a lap, you little freakazoid. Follow me. Let's see what the MVP has to say about today's outcome. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's game was brought to you by Comcrack Entertainment. They're not happy until you're not happy.